A conclusion is important to a thesis because it summarizes your new research findings and connects them to possible future studies and use. A common way to organize a conclusion is to create an upside down funnel structure. This includes a summary of your key findings, their wider significance, and possibilities for future research. Highlighting key findings reminds the reader of your contribution. You can use language like, overall, the results show that, to reiterate significant findings. In this case, the writer highlights findings about waste collection time. When summarizing the findings, you can restate the purpose or objectives by saying the overarching aim of this study and restate the scope of your research by using language like focusing on the impacts of. To make the application of your results clear, you can use language such as the findings identify a trend that should. Here the writer indicates the results would be useful for startup collection programs. You can also state the likely impact or implications of the study with language like this finding draws attention to the importance of. Here, the findings reveal a need for more government assistance. Finally, you can suggest future research possibilities by indicating the limitations of your study, using language such as, this study has not focused on. Here, the writer explains that the size of collection vehicles was not a factor in their research. You can recommend areas for further research with wording like, this area is important for further research because in this case, research into energy use and transportation costs still needs to be done. This language creates an upside down funnel from summarizing the key findings to stating the applications of these findings and recommending areas for future research.